appreciate our people out there. We'll put the best, the best of our people out there to try to make a demonstrated difference for our safe community. You look at our economy right now. You don't have QVC anymore. You don't have a tire factory coming over here. CSX is not expanded like we thought it would be. It will be. We don't see explosive growth. But what you do see if you walk in the grocery store is how many of you see how much of steak costs? Mm -hmm. How much have you seen? How much of uh, milk is? <laughs> or if you got to get the baby, the real little baby, so baby formula, you can't even get it. That's trying times. Mm -hmm. So not only across America do we have that, we've got it here, we've got our own struggles. And it's people like you that's going to make the difference of saying, hey, we're going to have a safe community where people want to move here, create businesses, and prosper. Another thing is our schools. We have to stand behind the school teachers. Thank you. Yeah. I mean, you cannot teach when you have no rules. Mm -hmm. And they can't keep putting them back in the classroom. The, the administration needs to stand behind the school teachers because don't leave their kid left behind, or let's don't keep them all left behind. And uh, I'm seeing that. I am pleased to see today that Governor Cooper is going to give his law enforcement officers seven and a half percent pay raise. His school teachers, uh, if you look at it, the health services, <coughs> that's commendable. But in this time, I don't know how far seven and a half percent is going to go. But we're going to do some moving in the right direction. But I've been here since 1987, worked the streets of the city of Rocky Mountain, Principal Canada. There's not a road in Edge County that I'm not going to down. There's not a city street on the Edgecombe County side that I haven't been back in Rocky Mountain. And it's different than this. But the main thing that goes back to is we can do all of this, but our churches and our people have to stand up and say, you know, what are we going to do to bring the family to sit in back? If kids aren't sitting down at the table eating with their family, say the prayers before that, I don't know how far we can go. You know, when you've got kids walking up and down the street 1 o'clock, 2 o'clock in the morning, and I'm talking about 12, 14 year old kids, we've got to bring that community to the city back. So, the word I want to leave you with is when you leave here, in your community, when you see something, it's not bothering us for you to pick the phone up and shoot the phone up, so take your call. I'm sure you got all of us' phone number here, and I'm going to give you my phone number before I leave here. That second text, hey, I saw this, or saw this, or this needs attention over here. We're not great at solving problems. What we are is great at community relations. And as long as we have community telling us what's going on, mm -hmm. we solve problems. Mm -hmm. So that's the part that I ask you to go out and do, is share it with your neighbors. You know, hey, if you see something, let us know. So that's the only way we're going to move forward. But that telephone number, 252. 
next 24 hours do. When things get bad, like these floods and all these types of disasters, everybody else kind of drifts away. Mm -hmm. These guys are out there. And to have professional law enforcement, you've got to pay. Mm -hmm. And especially the career guys that are putting in their heart and soul into this. But it's people like you that make that difference. Now, any questions? I don't want to leave here. But I didn't get to ask you that. I stood up and talked to you. <laughs> You got to have something. Come on. Hey, that's a lot. At least the baby can ask me something. <laughs> no questions. <laughs> I, I got one while we're waiting here because you, you, you hear your last question. Um, I think you already asked it, but what can you leave with our citizens who have learned, they've learned from jail? to CID, to civil, uh, what can you tell them about our recruitment of the next generation? How can we recruit someone in that family? What can you tell them about the product that we're looking for in law enforcement? One word is professionalism. This office is professional. When you leave here, you see they're dedicated and hard, non-stopping to the mission that's been. That's professionalism. They say a professional spot. Does anybody know what a professional is? Anybody know? They say it's a person that lives 50 miles away and has a briefcase. Y'all ever heard that? <laughs> <laughs> right here is your professionals. But with that, how many of you are going to say, yes, I'm going to send my darling over there, my grandchild or my child, and they're going to make $15,000, $20,000 less a year than if they left the community and went to Raleigh? driving distance to Equate, Holly Springs, any of those areas, Pitt County, Brady. We want our people to stay here. I want my kids to stay here. At least want to get over there and call them and tell them to come over here and help beat me up or something. If they're five miles away. I mean, really, you think about this. You want your kids to invest in the world. There's two things that's got to do that. We've got to have strong schools and safe communities for businesses want to come here. And then, for our law enforcement, we've got to have paid or you will get a responsive person and not a program person. So that's what I mean. Any questions now? Well, thank y'all so much. And I know I did well because nobody <laughs> <laughs>
I had a Mustang. I was just convertible, and his won't. This was before I ever knew what pacing was. I saw this Mustang, black and silver, man, it was perfect. Going down 64 about me, it's coming towards the top. What'd I do? I wanted to see how fast he was going. He speed up, I speed up. He speed up, I speed up. I get my dead service station, that Mustang pulls in. I'm like, oh, oh. I get out of the car, Trooper Stone gets out of the car. My daddy starts walking over there. Trooper Stone said, Sister Harold, what can you say about this boy's feet? My daddy said, boy, let me have your driver's license. Uh -oh. <coughs> I handed my daddy my driver's license. I never got a ticket. I lost my driver's license for 30 days. Oh. <laughs> the only place I could drive was to the part house and back for him. Um, so, Sheriff, thank you for the relationship that we have built over the years, and thank you for continuing that relationship with myself as well as the Edgecombe County. And I'm glad that you got lucky because it wrote me my first and only kid. <laughs> <laughs> At this time, I'd like to call Sheriff Atkinson to the front of the table, and um, we will present a certificate. And when I call your name, if you would please come up and join the ship. Patricia Bimbo. Thank you. 
Let's do this team. We want to move to, to, to uh, tables. Let's set the table. 